from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings, LA Late. It's a big early, early mornings here on LA with incredible great details about your fourth stimulus check of 2021. In this update today, we go over the monthly stimulus check, how much you're gonna get under this fourth stimulus package, and the incredible great news about four stimulus check updates today. Then the second half of this recording, we go to fifth stimulus that'll raise your benefits up and why the breaking news yesterday was incredible. Then in the middle of the recording, we go over the big money, thousands of dollars of viewers continue to get, and I want you to get it as well. It's a big morning. The toast is toasted, the butter is buttering. I'm here, you're here. The bacon is missing. I mean, you know, they could have done a bacon though. But it's going to be a beautiful morning and a beautiful early mornings starting right now. How you doing? Th Thursday morning. Can you imagine? Almost to the weekend. It felt like it was just the weekend yesterday. <laughs> How's the weather where you are? It was beautiful yesterday here in Santa Monica. The weather has been just beautiful. Gloomy in the morning and then not gloomy <laughs> in the rest of the day. So I hope the weather is good where you are. Drop in the comments where you're watching from and how's the weather. And if you're an international viewer, I'd love to see you in the comments as well. In this Force Stimulus Check Update 2021 today, we go over the incredible breaking news that is all wonderful about this monthly stimulus check currently in the reconciliation process. We go over all the details you need to know and the breaking news. Then the second half of this video, we go to fish stimulus that'll raise your benefits up and why that benchmark got some wonderful good news yesterday, but why the news is still all over the place. We have those details as well. And then the thousands of dollars the viewers continue to get. I'm going to go over how you can get that money additionally. This is Ally, your only 24-hour day, seven days a week, financial news channel, literally on air, morning, noon, and night. Currently airing at the same time as this show is our Overnight's Crypto live show. So after this show, you can stay on this video and it'll automatically take you over there. But subscribe, 400,000 subscribers for a reason. This channel cares and is helping people. Hit that subscribe button right now. A YouTube record in one year, next stop, one million. Also like this video, two, 3,000 likes and consider becoming a member. Let's get right to the details of Four Stimulus starting right now. Four Stimulus has a house bill from Jalapal and a Senate proposal. Let's go through the analysis and understand how they work. The house bill provides a stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year that would start with incredible money. House's bill from Jalapal is pandemic plus one year. That means a stimulus check for every month remaining on the pandemic plus one year. The Senate proposal, on the other hand, is a stimulus check from now, well, actually July to December. Now let's compare the monthly amounts. The House bill from Jalapal provides $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter per month. The Senate amount on a monthly basis is unknown, but word on the street is it's this. Wow. $2,000 a month over six months, $12,000. Or $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400. That is per person, folks. But let's go back to something about Jalapal's bill that we need to look at. First, if you're in the live chat when the show airs at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, get ready to vote House or Senate. House or Senate and state where you're from and how's the weather. But let's look at something important here. Macroeconomics suggests that maybe Jalapal's bill may pay less. Why? Because legislators reportedly are considering thinking that the pandemic is over. And if that's the case, then Jalapal's bill would provide you not pandemic plus one year, but just one year stimulus checks, which would amount to $13,000 over 12 months compared to this. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, and that's over six months. Yeah, I think you have an opinion now. <laughs> Jump into the live chat. Uh, which one do you like? Senate versus House. Senate versus House. And if you're watching the show later in the day, drop in the comments, Senate or House, and tell me where you're tuning in from. Let's go over all the other details you need to know about this wonderful force stimulus check. First, who gets it? You do. So if you make less than 75000 you get the force stimulus check. 
If you're a married couple, 150000 or less, you get the fourth stimulus check, quad double it. If you are a family of four, you get the fourth stimulus check, quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, you get the fourth stimulus check. Congratulations, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans, and more. Is the fourth stimulus check income? No. The fourth stimulus check is not taxable because it's not income. The fourth stimulus check would not be uh, have a different amount for different people because the same amount for adult dependents, minor dependents, and others. The fourth stimulus check may or may not be taken out for child support. We don't know that just yet. And the fourth stimulus check would not be paid in waves because it has to be paid on a monthly basis. And the first month of the fourth stimulus check would go out would be the month of July. Legislators represent because the vote would be in July for the check of July in the month of July. Remember, they make the representations, not me. I'm just a reporter. Fourth stimulus check, month of July for the month of July. And a check in August for the month of August. And there you go. That's your fourth stimulus check updated 2021 to start. But I got more about it coming up in just a second. But first, here's a preview of the second half of this video, which is fist stimulus that heats up. And we're seeing new breaking details yesterday, and we're expected to see more this morning. <laughs> you know what this morning is. I'll tell you in a second if you forgot what this morning is. That'll give us an in indication of where these numbers could land. Fist stimulus raises up your benefits if you're on SSI and SSDI, Social Security, and other benefits like veterans, and then applies a new benchmark, and that benchmark is inflation. Well, we're all going to have some new economic data this morning, and we had some economic data yesterday that gave us new insight about that inflation. That's coming up in the second half of this recording. But let's turn to the big money that I want you to get. If you're new to this channel, I have been fighting and getting people money since day one. I don't just report news. I actually get people money. And in the first few months of this channel, I got viewers $25 million in EIDL loans by personally handling their applications. They were not getting their applications approved or processed, and I stepped in and turned it around. In fall of last year, I got viewers a quarter million dollars of rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance, what I called purple money, because second stimulus had not yet happened. And they needed money, and we got it for them. And now we're focusing on this other money, and you are killing it. Every single day, not an hour goes past without a viewer saying, I got money. If you got money, drop in the live chat. If you got money, drop in the comments. Let's go over the details. And if you got some, I'm going to get you some more. If you haven't gotten any, get a pen and paper ready. And stay to the very end of this video. We're going to go over all the details. First, there's $350 billion available for you. No, it's not all your $350 billion. You got to share it with someone else. <laughs> Just give me $1 billion. You can take the $349. Uh, <laughs> that's this money coming from the federal government to your city, counties, and states for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and homeowners' utilities. You're going to get in in six locations. I'm going to go over those in a second. But here's what you need to know. Every location has different eligibility. So if you get a no at one place, reach out to the next until you get a yes. They also have their own pot of money. All right, you ready? Those six locations you're going to reach out to get this money for rent is City Hall, City Housing Authority, County Hall, County Housing Authority, State Hall, State Housing Authority. You're also going to reach out to them for mortgage assistance. The key words you're going to say is rent assistance because of COVID or mortgage assistance because of COVID. You can also say Biden Economic Recovery Plan. You do not say the word stimulus or popcorn flakes. <laughs> just uh, popcorn flakes? Yeah, just do, do not say words that they don't know what you're talking about. They don't know what stimulus is or popcorn flakes. So just don't say those words. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that is your four. That is that big, wonderful money. Starts at five thousand dollars for rent, approximately four to six months. So go get it. Next, uh, oh, and Tim and Linda got it in just the last few days. Congratulations to them. My next group of money is just viewers has been killing it on this one. I want you to get it as well. One viewer, I think it was one or two days ago, said in the morning show she got four ninety five for her, her family. I think it was two or family three. A month, which is just wonderful. Lynn Glenn got it for her son, for herself and her mom. Gail got it for herself. What is this? It's SNAP. SNAP, let's go over what it is, how you get it, and how much money it is. SNAP is money for food. How do you get it? Department of Agriculture. Reach out to Department of Agriculture. Uh, or call 211, get connected over. How much money is it? It's a fortune. Family of four in Hawaii is now gained $16,000 a year. Why so much? Because of two executive orders, one from Biden, one from Trump, that raised everyone's benefits up 15% between now and December. So go get it. 
<laughs> and I got more money for you, and it starts right now. $5,000. Can you imagine? Where is this coming from? It's coming from the states because the federal government has ordered it returned back to you. <sighs> yes. The federal government has identified states as overpaying you unemployment benefits and then asking you to return it back to them due to computer error. <laughs> the federal government said, your computer error, your problem. Give the money back to the citizens. Yes, seriously. The federal government has ordered the states to return the money back to you, saying it was not your fault that the states had it out of a computer error. It's your money to keep. So how are you going to get this money? On the bank account you have on file automatically with your state's unemployment department. When? Reach out to your respective state. They all have different rounding times. The next pot of money, on last Friday, a viewer jumped into one of the overnight show and told me he got his check. Another viewer got her check of $2,000. You will be next. It is the money back from IRS that you paid on your taxes for unemployment. We're going to go over how much it is, when you get it, where you're getting it, and how to track it. All right, the great details starting right now. If you had, let's say, $9,000 of unemployment assistance last year, you paid $5,000 in total taxes to IRS, of which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment benefits, congratulations, you're getting back a check of $4,000. Next, how? This is probably the most important thing I gotta tell you. It's in the mailbox in a razor thin envelope, beige or white. It is so thin, you have to go surgically through the mail very slowly over the next few weeks because you can throw away this check and this envelope very easily. Don't do that. Next, when? The checks are coming the first two weeks of June, at least. Um, they were sent out in May. Not sent to be received in May, but sent out in May. And finally, track it? Yes, go to irs.gov, sign in, set up a username and password, put your social security number in, and do a transcript search. It'll show the tax return you filed, the taxes you paid on that tax return, and the refund you are issued. It generally works about 70 to 75% of the time. There you go. Can we get any better news than that? We can. <laughs> it's for stimulus. I have some wonderful breaking news about for stimulus and all the other anticipated details you wanted to hear about starting right now. For stimulus checks and the for stimulus package are currently under a reconciliation process that will be done by July 4th. Lita Schumer confirmed last Friday, but I have been telling you that for weeks. Lita Schumer announced on Friday, four, on, on, on last Friday, three items which I have been telling you were actually happening. One, he confirmed the reconciliation process is already underway. Number two, he confirmed that the reconciliation process will be done no later than about July 4th. And number three, he confirmed that the reconciliation process will continue with or without the, with or without the president having bipartisan negotiations. So there you go. Um, now, how do we get to that point and where are we heading from after this point? Let me go over all those details. We got to this point by Jalapal really sort of cracking the whip, I guess you would say, almost a, a little bit over a week ago. Remember when Jala Powell wrote that House bill and introduced it to the House floor, 100 plus House members wrote the President Liar saying, we love this bill. We are going to put multiple stimulus checks in the fourth stimulus package. Well, <laughs> Jala Powell came in and wrote Schumer a letter saying, call the vote. What are you doing, Chuck? Call the vote. The reconciliation bills are practically written. What are we waiting for? Call the vote. And when Jalapal wrote that letter cracking the whip, about 12 House Democrats co-signed the letter, and they are among those who signed that letter to the president asking for those multiple stimulus checks. Yes, it gets that good. But can we get better? We can. A week ago Friday, seven House Democrats wrote the president a letter saying that we will be working with you, Mr. President, to put those multiple stimulus checks in the four stimulus package. Uh, what? <laughs> yes. So what does that mean, work with him? Well, the president doesn't write legislation. It's a euphemism. They write the legislation. Well, who are these people? These seven House members are on the House subcommittee that is solely, exclusively, and only responsible for tasking and taking care of and finishing any legislation writing about stimulus checks. That's their job. That's what they do. No one else does it. Oh my goodness, have they done the first? Yes, they wrote the first stimulus check. They wrote the second stimulus check. They wrote the third stimulus check. And now they wrote the president saying, we're writing the fourth stimulus check, get ready. 
Oh my goodness, Captain Obvious, where are you? <laughs> are you on vacation? Where are you? Are you on vacation with Sir Lauren? Where are you? Captain Obvious, I think, is just walking through the snow at this point. Can we get better? We got better. When on Tuesday, the President of the United States said something really fascinating, but a little bit confusing. <laughs> so let me explain it to you. He said that he reached out to some G7 countries to agree upon a global corporate minimum tax rate. Oh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> it means that if you moved your business from here to overseas, you wouldn't save any money because he's raising up the global corporate tax rate, trying to keep American businesses here. Oh, that's good. So what else did he do about it? Because I'm so far enough all of this. So what he did was he said to insiders that after four stimulus is signed into law, he's going to go back to those G7 countries to have them sign on the dotted line to keep that global minimum corporate tax rate at the rate he proposed, 15%. And when they do, he's going to come back and drop our U.S. corporate tax rate. Oh, my goodness. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I didn't see that coming either. I'm just still shocked by that one. That one is really a shocker. Stimulus checks and lowering the corporate tax rate back closer to where it is. Can it get better than that? It does. When the President of the United States about a week ago said, I'm not waiting to call the vote. Call the vote, Chuck. Just call the vote. I'll have lunches with whoever I have lunches with. But call the vote. And then... Three series of House, excuse me, series of Senate Democrats, not Chuck, came out and said, we've seen the Republican counterproposal. Call the vote, Chuck. What are we doing? Call the vote. And there you are. So what is call the vote? Well, coming up in the second half of this video, I go over what is calling the vote, how you need to know what is involved with the vote, a familiar face returns this channel, and more exciting news about the stimulus. Can it get better than that? It can with the volunteers. The spirit of this channel has always been helping one another, and that's how, and that's where the volunteers came from. It was last year where so many people were in need of help with this rent that I couldn't do it all myself, so I asked, wanted to see if anyone wanted to volunteer. And over this time, people have stepped up and helped viewers get this money. These volunteers are salt of the earth, so if you find you're having difficulty finding that rent, utilities, internet, mortgage assistance yourself, they're available for you. They are viewers just like you. And where are they? They're on the community page. Open the description of this video. On the video description, you'll see an emoji of a house. Next to that emoji of a house is the community page. Click that link. It sends you over to the webpage, news.la.com forward slash community. At the top of the page is a picture of some kitty cats. Those are not the volunteers. <laughs> Those are just kitty cats. Uh, and they don't talk either. <laughs> Go lower on the picture, on the page below the picture. And then you'll find the volunteers. They're on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Click on the link and it sends them over to their Instagram account or Twitter or Facebook. Reach out to them and they'll be able to help you. And I'll be back at 60 Seconds with you with more exciting details about the fourth stimulus, the fifth stimulus. But first, here's a little bit about the volunteers. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues news right now in early mornings, LA. The toast is toast and the butter is butter and the coffee is brewing. I'm here, you're here, and the bacon is missing. I mean, but what else is new? 
Luke and the Bacon's always missing on the morning broadcast. How are you? Almost made it to the weekend. You excited? I am. Hit that subscribe button right now. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record. Next stop, 1 million. Like this video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. We'll learn more about that in the second half of this recording. Also, I'll be covering fourth stimulus and fifth stimulus coming up right now. Let's get right into fifth stimulus. Fifth stimulus heats up this fall with incredible relief. It'll raise your benefits up. Let's go over the details and how this works. First, they're going to raise up your benefit limits. Then they'll remove the asset limit, add an inflationary benchmark, remove the income exclusion, and remove the marriage penalty. Let's go over what that means, how it calculates, whether that's better than the Elizabeth Warren plan, and the breaking news that impacts this as well. Fifth stimulus has this wonderful reform for beneficiaries by first raising up every beneficiary's number to a big new number. Everyone's beneficiary's number would raise up. What is that? Who is this for? You. So SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, SSA, Survivor Benefits, Multiple Beneficiaries, or any other benefits I forgot to mention. You'll be raised up to a big new number. Then they'll apply a new benchmark. That benchmark is inflation. Now, we all know what inflation is, but how does the benchmark work? Every December, they look and see that benchmark, and then they decide whether to step you up or to keep you the same. They never step you down. Now, it's been a real effort to really figure out where that inflationary rate will be. Well, we'll get another indicator about it this morning. You know what Thursday morning is. If you've been with me since last year, you remember what every Thursday morning was. For 22 weeks, it was learning that there was another 1 million people unemployed, newly unemployed. And then after that, it was about 10 more weeks learning that about 800,000 new unemployment people were unemployed. Yes, this morning after this broadcast, you're going to see the new jobless claims released every Thursday morning. It's different than the job creation number, which comes every month, once a month. Now, the number has been improving. We are at this point at the best levels since the pandemic, but we still have some more progress. It's not a true inflation number because it's not tracking inflation, it's tracking labor, but it does give us indication of where this market is going. Another indication, which may be more on point, was a number from the auto manufacturers yesterday, which showed that the lead time between delivering of a, of a new car to a port from the manufacturer's uh, factory to your driveway is the shortest time in US history. Why? Because there's a massive demand for cars, a shortage of cars, and that tightening, tightening is occurring. Now, analysts believe that in December, it will be the reverse. A lot of cars and not a lot of demand. Deflation. <sighs> deflation, well, that's not what we've been hearing about lately. So do you think there's deflation or massive inflation in December? The Federal Reserve out of Georgia thinks there's going to be inflation. 4 to 7 4 percent growth currently, and they're looking at 10.5% growth by December. Jeremy Siegel thinks there's going to be 20% inflation. And most analysts are thinking 4 to 7% inflation. So with all this data, let's go over the analysis and see how it works. Let's choose 6% inflation. First, they'll raise your benefits up to a big new number. Then they'll apply an inflationary benchmark, let's say a 6%. Thou step up your benefits next year for 6%, but not for just next year, lifetime. Once they step you up, they never step you down. So once you step up at potentially the highest inflation rate of a generation this December, you will never step down. It's wonderful, wonderful news. Next, they're going to remove the asset cap. Dating back to a 1980s law, says you can't hold more than $3,000 in hand. You need that gone so you can hold those stimulus checks in your hand. Then they're going to remove the income cap that says you can't work and also stay in benefits. Now you'll be able to work. And finally, the marriage panel is going to go away. Finally, you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest, and love is going to win. You will no longer be penalized from the marriage penalty, and you'll no longer be prevented from getting married because of the marriage penalty. When comparing this to Elizabeth Warren plan, this pays a lot more money. Why? Because Elizabeth Warren was not going to tie your benefits to inflation, but CPIE, which would have paid less. And because inflation is at its highest point this December, you're going to get paid a lot more money. It gets more money for you than if Warren's plan as well, because Warren was not going to do removal of the marriage penalty, removal of the income exclusion, or removal of the asset cap. So a lot more money. In fifth stimulus, there's a lot of other items in there besides just this. 
And in a single video, there's not enough time for me to go over fiscal stimulus, which for purposes of the reform, you would likely see the benefits impact your bank account by about November and then the step up in January. For example, there's money in the fiscal stimulus package for single individuals, for single individuals for hazard pay, for single seniors. The way you find out all these details is by becoming a member. The link's at the top of the channel, the pinned comment. As a member, you get delivered to you by the community page, the YouTube community page daily from me, what's in the fourth stimulus, what's in the fifth stimulus, and even what's in the third stimulus. So it's important for you to know that you're not missing any of the money you're entitled to. The month of July is going to be confusing. So at minimum, subscribe, because in the month of July, you're going to see a lot of legislation, and it looks a little bit similar. <laughs> and with that, let's turn back to forced stimulus and understand how the voting process is involved and a familiar face is coming back to the channel. Forced stimulus, that reconciliation process, is a process that you need to know the voting steps, and I could go over them right now. It's not something that could be done in one day or one moment or one week. Let's go over the details. There's nine voting steps at least, and those nine voting steps are required under the Constitution. They have not been created by any person to delay or created by any party to delay. They're actually required in the Constitution. The first half are procedural, the second half are substantive. Let's go over them. Step one, the House subcommittee votes on the procedural bill. Step two, the House, the House floor votes on the procedural bill. Step three, the Senate votes on the procedural bill. And step four, the present signs into law, the procedural bill. At this point, the tow truck, the procedural part, has passed over the finish line. Time to go do the substantive bill, the tow hitch. Step five, the House subcommittee writes up and votes on the substantive provisions. This is where the House Ways and Means Committee could put in those multiple stimulus checks and vote on them on the step five. Step six, the House floor votes on the substantive bill. Step seven and eight, is the two-day votorama in the Senate, in which those senators propose amendments and can propose an amendment for stimulus checks. They can do it two different ways. If the House had no stimulus checks in there, then the senators can put them in there during a votorama. If the House did have stimulus checks in there, the senators can, can take leave it alone. And finally, the senators, if they see stimulus checks are already in there from the House, can come in and modify them. And step nine, the present signs in the law. Nine steps that are required to get it done. Finally, a familiar face is back. And that familiar face is Purple Power. Purple Power is the original pushing of this channel. Because we don't just track checks. We cash checks. We don't sit around and wonder what day in the month of July am I getting a stimulus check. No, we cash as many checks as we can get now, and you've been doing a great job. It's important to understand that when we look back on the history of this channel, you've done wonderful things. In December of last year, it didn't look like second stimulus was going to happen, and viewers were struggling. So what did I do? I did two things. First, I launched Purple, which was to get you the push and focus you on where you could find rent, utilities, mortgages, and similar during the holidays and get your bills paid for, even though second stimulus had not yet become law. I remember Tyrone, the viewer from Boston, who got $11,000 for rent, I believe. It was either eleven or 12000 for rent. It would cover him all the way to March. It changed his entire holiday. It's covered his bills that he would not have had to worry about. But at the same time, we pushed to get legislation in there. And what did we do? I came up solely with the only idea that changed U.S. history, putting stimulus into a continuing resolution. It was my idea. And I said, let's do CR for stimulus or stimulus for CR. Let's get stimulus checks and continuing resolution. It was my idea and you pushed it. And you got it. Now, initially, they tried to derail us by only putting unemployment stimulus into the CR after they heard our push. We pushed back, and we made sure of stimulus checks. But here's what's important to know, is that these legislators over time have done things where it even was in bill, even in law, and it still didn't get delivered. That's why Purple Power has to push. The third stimulus package was supposed to provide EIDL loan increases. It hasn't. It was supposed to provide the five, the remaining of the $10,000 grant. In the law, has not yet been applied yet. It was supposed to buy the $5,000 EIDL grant. Many viewers have not gotten that. That's actually in the law. In December, the Cash Act was to provide you more stimulus checks. They actually had a bill for it. They said they were going to take care of it in January. They didn't. 
$3,200 for adult dependents. Where were those checks from the Cash Act? Never delivered. How about the Georgia Senators and their promises? How about FPC Retro? Whether it's in bill or whether it's in law, legislators have always been able to sometimes not deliver what was actually in the actual law or the bill. So that's why we have to always push. And with that, Purple Power is back on, baby. You need to take this video and share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it on Instagram, share it on Reddit, tag your elected officials, hashtag Purple Power, hashtag MSC. Because ultimately, they're on point, but we don't want them to go off point. We want to make sure they finish it all the way to the finish line with that tow truck and the tow hitch. So subscribe, 400,000 subscribers. That's how we do it. We push, we push, we push. Like this video, consider liking this video and also consider becoming a member. Meantime, at the same time this show is airing is the Overnight's Crypto Show, live on air. So if you stay on this video, it'll take you automatically to that one when this one is done. I want you part of this channel, so subscribe. Stay informed, stay focused. I'm next bit back with you on air at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time with Mornings LA. Stay informed and stay focused. Have a beautiful morning. Always stay on point, always stay in focus, and always stay with LA for more.